Hello, this is Alterox, um, and this will be another election video in the scenario in which FDR was assassinated in 1933. Um, I'm sorry I haven't made one of these videos for a while, it was because I was working on those scenarios, and, like the um, Second Punic War and the, and the uh, Silesian Uprising. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this one, and I'll, I might get one out this weekend, and if not, next weekend, or, like, I don't, I'm not, I don't have a schedule, but, no, I'm probably gonna, um, get out, uh, this, yeah, I'm getting this out tonight, um, and then 48 will probably be, um, within two weeks, probably soon, but, um, I'm also, my next scenario video will be about the, uh, Mexican Civil War in the 1830s, and all the splendor states that broke off from it, um, and also, um, my, uh, one of my friends is, he doesn't want to create his own channel, so he's gonna create, he's create, he's making a video on, um, the, on Alfred the Great, and by if the Vikings conquered Britain, if, yeah, um, that'll be out, um, definitely within a month, uh, you know, I don't have an exact date when he's gonna be done. Uh, so yeah, um, over the summer there will definitely be more videos coming out, um, so yeah, uh, let's get into the scenario. So, you might be wondering, immediately you've probably noticed that Austin is one of the care uh, one of the people I mentioned before that he would be the um VP because what's the guy uh, McNary yeah that was his name uh, McNary he died during what his term would have been so I'm not gonna say he would die on the same day but he died of cancer and uh, in the stress of being president has been shown to like kill people faster well not kill but like if you look at a picture of a per, per, of a person before and after they became president, it's very drastically changed, and there's a lot of stress in the job. So he would have probably died, not the same day, nothing like that, but like around the time. Um, so yeah. Um, let, uh, so let's go over the char the the characters, the candidates. So we have Steven, uh, Cook Stevenson representing the Democratic Party, uh, the incumbent Warren, uh, he's from Texas, Warren Austin from, uh, Vermont, um, and Thomas Dewey, who, even though he ran in this election, and I don't, and I'm a strong believer of the butterfly effect, I wanted to find someone who would have fit the New Deal's platform from the time, and I thought Dewey would work. Um, so yeah, he's running. Um, the, one of the, the pretty much may, only main issue in this, in this election is the war, because Pearl Harbor wouldn't have happened due to the butterfly effect, but, uh, something would happen and the U.S. would have been drawn into the war, um, maybe when, uh, Austin was coming into power, uh, there was an incident with some ships being sank in the Pacific by, uh, Japanese subs or something. Um, but, so America would be involved in the war, and the war effort would, they'd be involved. Um, I'm not gonna go in depth on how this war would go, but it will, it will, it'll be, it would end later, but not so far later that, um, by 48, the war would be over. Um, and I'll probably, after 48, I'll make... Just like a background video on the world, on um, World War Two in this timeline. So uh, yeah, uh, let's get started with the election as usual. Um, the state's order will be mostly smaller states first, um, like in an actual election with a priority uh, on the eastern coast, and then working westwards because of um, like when the results would come in. So uh, let's start off with Austin's home state. Uh, oh yeah. Um, Dewey, he was against the war, so, but he wouldn't be able to get that platform as a tick on the ticket, so he would try to, his, he would want to, um, 
slow the involvement and try to find some sort of solution and like peace while Austin and Seabeth said would be more for um continuing the war uh so yeah Vermont would definitely go for um Austin he was from there and in this timeline there a Republican bastion uh same thing would happen to New Jersey because he's from the area and uh it was very strongly Republican at this time. Um, Delaware would uh, go Republican as well, although it would be close. Just the fact that uh, Warren Austin was the uh, incumbent in a war gives him a, an edge over Stevenson, who would usually have won. Um, yeah, so... Um, Oh yeah, Dewey's from New York. I forgot to mention that. Uh, Maine would go Republican as well because of the area and also um, reasons about the war and not. I'm just gonna give a spoiler. Dewey won't have as many votes as an average New Deal candidate would have due to his unpopular platform. Um, Rhode Island would go Republican because it's a very industrialized state so would have a lot of boost from more industry and would prefer the at least like a moderate Austin to the conservative uh, Stevenson uh, Maryland uh, Maryland no yeah Maryland would also go Republican because um, a lot of the New Dealers would uh, would abandon their party for this election and show out for the Republicans, so the norm, so the conservatives in the state, so the New Deal base would mostly go for the Republicans, so that would offset the conservatives of the state. Um, Connecticut also goes Republican due to reasons I've said before. West Virginia would go New Deal due to it being mostly coal mining and they'd still be loyal. They wouldn't have as big of a boost in industry they would. Their coal would be needed for the war effort, but just the labor and stuff like those, the, the, the uh, New Deal Party's labor reforms would go well with the unions and such in the state of, of the coal miners. So yeah, West Virginia would go for Dewey. Um, South Carolina will go. Would go Democrat. Uh, so would Georgia and Florida. Um, Mississippi, Alabama. Oh, whoops. Um. Arkansas uh, probably also uh, the Dakotas um, would go New Deal because they were loyal to the party and wouldn't have had as much industrialization yeah there would like the farmers would be um, having a lot of jobs from the war but Dewey would still be would support the at least some sort of lend lease, which would have been passed under a different name, of course, under McNary. So, uh, yeah. So their farm, like, yeah. So, um, Wyoming, I feel would go Republican because, like. Well, you might be asking why Wyoming will vote differently from the Dakotas, even though, like, with their shared history and scenario so far. It's because, um, like, the Dakotas, they had Lemke's support of Ix early on and had built sort of a, more of an identity as a bastion of the New Deal. Um, and Wyoming, let's, um, yeah. So, I'm just gonna give that to Austin. 
um, uh, Virginia would go for, where did I write Virginia, oh, here, um, it would go Republican due to the incumbent clause and the small New Deal, actually, no, never mind, it would go Democrat, I'm sorry, um, I didn't know why I wrote Republican, because if, even though the incumbent would have the edge, um, Stevenson was also for continuing the war, so. Virginia would go Democrat. Uh, so would North Carolina. Let me just find that. I I write up a list of all this stuff beforehand. Yeah. Um, and also Kentucky because Kentucky. Um, although there would be like this coal miners going out for the new deal there would also be like kentucky is very a very diverse state in forms of in like terms of occupation there would be some cities with factory workers who for once would not go out all out for dewey as they normally uh, for the new deal candidate as they normally would because of the war effort giving them jobs uh massachusetts would go Massachusetts would go Republican, and, uh, because, um, yeah, it's New England, and, yeah, it's a bastion of the Republicans at this time. Um, New Jersey, New Jersey would be close between the, uh, New Deal and the Republicans, so I'm going to come back to that later. Um, Iowa would go out for the Republicans and not the Demer and uh well that that one would also be close with Stevenson I'm just gonna give it to uh, the Republicans since they like win night Wyoming and they would have saw they would have a stronger presence in the west so uh, they would have a good presence in the midwest so even though I I was a more conservative state they would go for Austin in this ele election. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, Wisconsin would also go Republican. And Utah would go Democrat because the Mormons were very conservative. Uh, Tennessee would go Democrat. Um, Nevada, there, um, they'd go Democrat as well because there would be a lot of conservatives in, like, the North and such, and since they wouldn't be going for the New Deal due to the war, um, and they would have some industry in, like, Reno and, Reno and Carson City, right here, wrong area. Um, and Las Vegas would be, there would be, that's where the New Deal would probably get some votes, but, yeah, <coughs> sorry, um, so yeah, Oregon, uh, the home state of McNary would go solidly in the Republican camp, same with Washington. Um, New York would go New Deal due to it being the home state of, um, of, uh, Dewey and, although it would be a closer ra race than it would normally be to secure a home state. Um, oh, uh, Indiana would, there, uh, would go... Republican because of their strength in the Midwest um, and there's a lot of factories in the Rust Belt so those would go over almost overwhelmingly for the Republicans same so Ohio um, Michigan uh, Michigan now Illinois I'll also get back to because they were 
going strong for New Deal for a long time, so, well, since the party founded, was founded, so, um, I'm just gonna put that, them off to a side for a second, but, um, yeah, so, uh, Montana would go New Deal, because very mountainous, so there's miners, and their unions would attract, and also close to the Dakotas, and, uh, Idaho would go Republican, although that would be close with the New Deal party, because of, um, Oregon and Washington, as well as Wyoming, that would, like, tip it over the edge, plus some of the, ind there is some, the very small amount, but there is some, like, Poc industry in Pocatello, and Boise, um, so they would just barely go for Austin, um, and also just the incumbent edge. Arizona would go Democrat because it was more conservative. It was more conservative back then, and would not go New Deal. California would go Republican, and uh, Pennsylvania would go Republican. Um. I can still see New Jersey up for grabs between the Dewey and Austin, but, uh, Texas, where's Texas, yeah, I knew, I knew what it, who it, it would vote for, but still, I want to check it off, uh, Oklahoma and Kansas would all go Democrat, um, Nebraska, um, yeah, that, that would be incredibly close, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say that Dewey just barely clinches it due to the, like that, but I'm gonna give um, cause it would be close between all three and the um, the uh, pro war group. And Dewey would, and like, Dewey wasn't staunchly, like, getting out, like, anti-war, but they didn't want to ramp up the war further than it already was, and was going to slowly, um, like, withdraw some men. Um, but they, they, they would be very close between Austin and Stevenson, so they would very divide, like, 30%, like, yeah, like, 30%, 30%, that vote, which would have gone if just one of these was pro-war. Um... So Dewey would just be able to clinch it, uh, but uh, since it's, I'm just gonna give them that, I'm gonna give New Jersey. I was already thinking it would probably go to the Republicans because of all the industry being for war, and I thought maybe since it was so close to New York, the Nor North Jersey would go New Deal and be able to tip um, South Jersey tipped over the edge. Um. Colorado that one's also a bit close on uh, New Mexico I'm gonna say we'll go to the Democrats because at this time it was more conservative although I originally said it would go to Austin uh, Minnesota I'm sorry you may kill me for that bad accent um, our uh, would go for Austin uh, because of like Wisconsin same reasons for like Wisconsin it would um, Missouri I believe would go to Stevenson now I have like three swing states that can determine is gonna win well they can determine if Austin's gonna, if the vote will go into the Electoral College. Louisiana would go to Stevenson, although it would be like, cause Hubie Long's influence would be very small left at this point because it, it remember in this timeline he's arrived. Um, so yeah, that would go to Stevenson. Colorado, Colorado's very mountainous, so those, so many miners would go for Dewey, but it also has a lot of industry in Boulder and Denver, so I'm gonna give it to Austin, like I had planned to. So now, uh, yeah. 
So now we got Illinois. And even though Chicago would was going for the New Deal for a long time, I think that Illinois would vote Republican. Giving Austin the vote, 272 electoral votes, Stevenson 186, and Dewey 73. If Dewey's votes, if um, Dewey wasn't running, I could see the victory would go much further to Austin. But yeah. So, um, this has been me. You have been you. Goodbye.